Hello everyone and welcome back to Chrono Space Persona 5 Royal. Today, we're going to do a verification test with Chihaya. Uh, I just actually had an affinity reading for Fumi, just in case we need to rank her up. Well, needed for ranking up next time. Uh, tempted to do Shodro today, but since she's finally available, I figured we'd hang out with her. Next time we can hang out with Shodro. No, son, I've been looking forward to seeing you. I've been here every goddamn day, Chihaya, and you uh, have not wanted to hang out with me once. This chairman turned himself in. It even showed up in the news. Uh, I know. <laughs> I'm expecting nothing less. Uh, he, it all happened so suddenly too. He confessed all to his, all, confessed all of his crimes. The police came to question me after that, but they ultimately concluded that I was innocent. Apparently, the chairman took full responsibility for the ADP and admitted that he was brainwashing all of its members. Oh, and speaking of members, some of them said they'd stop using the Holy Stone because of my advice. It was all the clients you sat in with. Um... You know, I never saw this as a possible outcome in my readings. Not only have the fates of the ADP members approved, but even my own have begun the shift. It's almost like this curse that's followed me ever since the villagers called me a monster has passed. Ah, glad to hear it. Because you're strong. You know what? It's because you're strong. Me? I remember, right, I remember. Strong conviction is the only way to change fate. Mm -hmm. That reminds me, my readings told me I would be accomplish, uh, would accomplish my objective with the aid of the trickster. But I'm not sure what exactly that was supposed to mean. It's such a mystery. That aside, the ADP is finished. Nobody else will be deceived. Um. Oh, I just realized something. Remember how I told you how the chairman knew I was a runaway? Well, I was wandering around when, well, I was wandering around the city with luggage in my, my side. Anyone could have figured that out, huh? Uh, I, I knew it. I know how fragile I was back then, but I'm still so embarrassed to think I let myself believe he was a psychic. But I guess some men are good at knowing when a woman is vulnerable. Are you one of these men, Noah-san? I believe the fifth! The truth is, there's actually something else beside the chairman that I want to talk to you about. Um... This is so embarrassing. Uh, no, son, are you interested in older women? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. Huh, I mean, how interesting! Oh, sorry. <laughs> if we have the time to waste talking about nonsense like that, we have time to read fortunes. <laughs> yeah, I sense a resolve. Yeah, I don't, I don't sense, like, a flirtation at all. It triggers a fusion alarm. A triggers a fusion alarm, then raises alarm chance until the end of the day. Oh, 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 okay, okay. When I saw alarm chance, okay, I'm not gonna lie. I thought the red, I didn't know the red velvet room was called fusion alarm. <laughs> I, I, I probably knew at one point, I just called it the red velvet room and I thought that was like the name. <laughs> or like red alarm. Um, so when it said fusion alarm, it kind of did not make sense in my head. And I thought it meant like the, like the security, uh, the palaces. Even though the chairman turned himself in, there are still some things left unresolved. Most importantly, the other members of the ADP are still confused as to what exactly is going on. So I need to set things straight. This is partially my fault after all. Right. The real battle starts now. This is the real Dark Souls, you say. It's getting late. I should close up for today. Goodbye. Bye. I've been doing a lot of thinking. I'm only a country bumpkin who ran from a hometown. What can I really accomplish? And then I realized something. I could have really easily ran away from the chairman like I did back then, but I didn't. I stood firm, and I think that's thanks to your, thanks to your influence. Uh, you give me too much credit. It was all your own will. I knew it would happen. You know what? It was all your own will. Nonsense. I'm not that strong of a person. I only got this far because I had you at my side. In other words, I think this was all part of our fate. I'll do my best to give them hope. That same hope you gave me. I can't turn my back on the ADP members any longer. I mean, I could. I hope you'll be keep watching. I hope you'll keep watching over me from through it all. Uh, yeah, sure. I guess. We got at least two more ranks, right? How many more days do we have left until the, the change? Oh, book time! Gonna read a book. Oh my God! You got three of these. Good lord. That's too many. I should read the ghost encounters, you're right. 
Um, any of these? I mean, I gotta read all these eventually. All right, all right, all right, all right. So, we're gonna read Ghost Encounters. I, I know we need to read all these to get like a really good book, but I wanna write, I wanna max out my guts, right? So, this is the only guts book I have. <sighs> yeah, reading a ghost story right in the first part of the morning, huh? Ah, I guess if you're into that sort of stuff. For real? Come on, guts! Damn it! I think that was the last guts book I had too. Hey there. Good morning. Hmm. There's a lot of students here at this hour. It's refreshing to make the work commute at the time every now at this time every now and then. Or at different times every now and then. Did you oversleep? Well, of course not. I woke up on time, although I am running late. On my way to work today, I ran into these old ladies carrying some heavy luggage. Three of them, in fact. So I was offering to help carry their things, and then my back made this sound that it shouldn't make. I know. Well, anyways, have you heard news of uh, Yoshizawa-san? <laughs> I'm so happy for her. It makes me feel like uh, doing my best too. Of course, as I as I say that, I'm running late. Well, hey, we all need to switch it up every now and then, so let's do our best for today, shall we? I guess. I skipped breakfast, so I'm hungry. Have you seen the totem pole at the diner in Shibuya yet? <laughs> yeah, it's really a totem pole. It's so colorful, I just love watching people try to eat it. You know those people who can eat it without falling over? I've never been able to do that. Eating a totem pole without it falling over? I wonder why they call it a totem pole. Probably the way it looks. Well, what does it look like? You didn't really think about it, did you? Looks like a totem pole! Oh, have you heard? Uh, have I heard what? Have you heard, ever thought your phone went off but nothing actually happened? All the time. It seems so many of us have experienced this, uh, that a term has been created for it. Uh, the English name for the particular phenomenon can be abbreviated to PVS. Would anyone like to tell me what that stands for? I need an answer. Mr. Noah, let's hear it. What's the phenomenon called in English? I didn't raise my hand. Um... Also, isn't it like phantom, like, vibration syndrome or something like that? Okay, let's remember what she said together. The PVS referring to when you mistakenly think your phone is going off. What's the P? Uh, phantom. Right! It's gonna start with Phantom, since you're only imagining it. The next is the V part. That means it'll be Phantom what? Vibration. Yeah, that's it! So when your phone buzzes, you say it's vibrating. So last is the S. So if we have Phantom Vibration so far... Syndrome. This is it. Good. Yeah, thank you. The correct English term is Phantom Vibration Syndrome. If you're anxiously waiting for someone to contact you, or if you're just lonely and you want someone to contact you, your brain will apparently trick you. That's the affliction that can only affect the modern society, where being con connected 24-7 is commonplace. No Bow to my knowledge of useless information. When I was a student, I'd get all worked up waiting for my SO to call me at night. Nowadays, people complain if they don't rely, reply to a text you just saw. Kind of obnoxious, if you ask me. Yeah, hmm. I think I'll ever get. Uh, I think it'll ever get to a point where we'll be able to read each other's mind. Oh God, I hope not. All right, three. What do we have? A lot of progress. So we get Doctor Death. Taba, I guess we should probably finish Dark to Death, right? Kazumi's maxed out. I mean, I'd love to hang out with Kazumi, but at the same time, like... No? <laughs> she's, she's maxed out. We can't. Well, we could, but we would waste the time. Um, so yeah, I guess we're gonna do Dark to Death. But you know what? Before we actually do anything, let's check that second-hand store. And see... 
Do I have any liquid mercury? What would you like? I would like you to get liquid mercury, you goddamn son of a person. A lot of progress made. Uh, I made a lot of progress with my medicine, but I'm not too lazy to discuss it over chat. So can we meet up for a bit? Or are you not interested unless it's a critical clinical trial? Uh, no, nah, I'll hang out with you. Thanks. Then, could you come to in Ino Kashira Park? I actually about to meet someone. All right. Here. All the data, specimen, and sample medicine. They're all there inside the case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what I read in the finding summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment, and we'll be ready to treat Miwa Chan with it. Excellent. Then the rest is up to you. So this is the kid from your study, huh? <laughs> yes, he's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? Alright, I'll call you later. He's the doctor treating Miwa Chan. He's just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. Uh... Don't worry about it. It was... It was my exams. It was rough. You know what? It was rough. <laughs> I bet. Although it was really fun for me. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident this will be a success, and they'll complete development on schedule. The final result will be out of my hands, though. If I don't accept their offer, that is. Hmm. I was recruited. He offered me the position of head of research and development at his hospital, which means I'll have to close my practice. I start first thing next month, and unfortunately, Takemi Clinica of Eternal Medicine will be gone. Uh... That's troubling. That is troubling. And your patients? How large my patients to transfer to the hus th that hospital, and I'll be sure to give them priority there. <laughs> huh, you seem flustered. Are you really to be that troubled by it? Just kidding. <laughs> the part about me being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see me with Chan. And receive my reward. Her smile. Oh, I need to give you a reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. I feel like my bond with Ekmi is growing deeper. Woo. One more for her. Then we can max out Makoto. And then Futaba? Oh, Shinya. Shit. And then there's Maruki. Anyway. But there's, and then there's Haru. <laughs> you were you were really concerned with when you thought I was going to close my office. I know you said it was your for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay, you can tell hey. me. Why do you keep coming to coming to me? Uh, I should choose my words carefully. We'll just ignore that last part. Why didn't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? Uh, it was for my exams. I wanted to see you. Yeah. Really? Really now? Well, why do you want to see me? Don't tell me you're in love with me or something. Uh, yeah. Fine. I screwed this up the last time. I friend zoned her by accident. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Now go on home before it gets dark. Or can I give you a special examination if you like? Uh, that sounds good. No, 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 no. That's how I messed it up last time. Right? We gotta be serious. I said something to her last time and I friend zoned her, so it isn't a joke. That's right, blushing. Damn right. What? Wait, you're serious? Well then Then I guess I owe you a serious answer too. I um actually I changed my mind. I mean you're in high school, you know. You're my little guinea pig for clinical trials. You're a kid who lied about his entrance exam to get unlicensed medicine. Along with someone like that, it's just unheard of. I'm not sure how I'm, I'm, uh, how I'd proceed with a minor. Anyways, uh, let's talk about it later. I formed a special relationship with. Okay, apparently that was my answer then. I'll see you later. Sure, bye. Hey. 
Hey, it's me. Can we talk a little? Uh, thanks for tagging along today. I got my drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything on a track for the cure to go through. I should go over. I should be over the moon, but now I got one last problem. Turns out my little guinea pig caught an illness that's even more annoying and persistent than Crawford's. <laughs> <What>? <laughs> uh, well, so did you. Yeah, I guess it really is an epidemic. I should take my own advice. Ah, oh, what a shame. Looks like a chronic case. Might even be incurable. Guess I'll better stick around for your treatment. We're done with the clinical trials, but I'll still be expecting you to drop by. I'm a primary physician, after all, and I'm the only one who can treat your condition, so... Okay, hang it up now. Good night. <laughs> Alright. So... Uh. You're back. We got that reverse from the original game. Things are getting really crazy online. The Phantom Thieves have been trending all over the country. Not a day passes that I don't hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves in the city, too. That just means people are really starting to count on us, right? So this fever may be too extreme. It's a dangerous omen. We could face great danger if anyone manages to discover our true identities. They don't scare us like that. Ain't no one's ain't no way somebody's gonna figure that out. Dude, I already have a few people that's figured it out, alright, so. Also, Makoto figured it out, Futaba figured it out. It's not that hard to figure it out. Either way, the excitement has definitely piqued the public's interest in the Phantom Thieves. We'll need to be even more careful from now on. Why do we gotta- why do we gotta be the ones who sneak around? It doesn't make sense. What do you mean? What do you mean, Ryuji? That doesn't make any sense, what you just said. We gotta do this one at a time, huh? This isn't annoying at all. Lord. I'll be at the church. I'll be the steeple. Okay, so just her? You gotta be giving me your quest soon. Or are you? Yeah, you have to be, be giving me this quest. Probably like right now. Decreases turn delay to zero, allowing you to instantly escape battle. Yo! Why don't we just answer the... Oh, yeah, wait, wait, wait. Eh, crossword. Hey, hey! Play a little, of course. Establishing order or worth. What? I.E. Scaldery. What? One, two, three. Five, six, and seven. Order, establishing order. Uh, R A N K I. Yeah, okay, that might work. Ranking. Rancor. No, no, get back there. Yeah. Establishing order in a list of multiple entries is easy with ranking no matter the length of the list, but quantifying a relevant factor, the task is simplified. Voting on a complex issue can be complicated, so a method called the Borda count is sometimes used when voters rank their selections, which can be which are tallied. Alright. What? I see. Nice. I don't even need to do this anymore. I got max charm. Or, yeah, I mean, I do have max charm, but max knowledge as well. No question? Okay. I mean, why do I even care? I get max knowledge! Why am I checking my plant? I have max hey, hey. kindness! Here! Totally useless! I just don't want the plant to die! Yes. Yeah, I know. Hey, can we use this shady commodity stuff? Okay, we got a lot of stuff now. I'm gonna buy it all! What's that do? Ghastly Whale, okay. Another one of these, huh? Why not, right? I spent over 100,000 yen, yeah! I am now Chaos! Incarnate, even. Apparently that's the highest order, or rank. That's fine. Um, sure, let's go to the church. Should I get an infinity reading? 
I'll be at the church again today, how are I? I'll like to speak with you if that's all right. Sure. So she sounds trouble over I am, so she has to be giving me that quest. Oh, hi, I guess we're not starting instantly. Good evening. I travel to see for- yes, I know, I was there. <sighs> we didn't hang out or anything like that, but still. I can't teach you so you right now, or rather, from now on. I'm at a checkmate right now. My only option is to concede, but I can't seem to give up. I'm not sure what my next move is after this checkmate. With my overflowing knowledge, I might be able to show Hufumi her next move. Sure. What? You'll help me think. Thank you. Actually... Before we play, I'd like to talk to you about something. My mother told me that I should lose my upcoming exhibition match to the pro. Uh... What do you mean? She wants you to throw the match? It's a strategy she devised. She says that if I lose to a man, I'll get sympathy from women, and as a result, get more female fans. Then when I make my comeback, I'll, make, I'll become a strong symbol for... I'll be, become a symbol for strong women everywhere. That way, I can use the weekly magazine popularity against them and instantly become famous. Uh, that won't work. I wish I could agree, but I feel my mother may be right. People do love a comeback story. Coming from the TV industry, my mother does have a great insight on entertainment. This time around, I couldn't help but argue. Uh, it's the wrong thing to do. I actually got into a fight with my mother. It wasn't the first time, but what made me sad was I realized my mom doesn't see me as a shogi player. She said that she's, there's no need for me to be putting so much time and effort in the shogi. It's terrible. And that once I became famous, I can quit shogi and make my money from my looks. The only reason she continues to support my shogi career is so she can profit off me as an idol. She doesn't mind if I lose a match, so as long as I build my reputation and make money. But my mother, shogi is just a vehicle to which uh, to that to make me famous. However, however, losing on purpose is wrong. Agreed. Even if it's to help me become famous and raise my and ease my parents' burdens. I don't want to turn my back on Shogi, a game that both my father and I love. Uh... Let's make her reconsider? <sighs> if only that were possible, she's the type of woman that never changes her mind. She wants to achieve her unfulfilled dreams of becoming a celebrity through me. I hate parents like that, by the way. I, you, you see that shit, like, a lot. And that, I, there was, like, that trend a while back with reality TV where, like, these fucking parents would, like, parade their kids around. Ah, oh, God, it was so... I hate that so much. I have a doubt she would ever consider it. Like, just kids crying like they don't want to do it and their parents fucking yelling. Like, it's just such a scummy thing to do. What's your mother's name? Uh, it's Mitsuyo Togo. Um. What does that have to do with what we're talking about? Oh, nothing. Just my max drums, that. Kronos, that's not how we're going to change her mind. I know, but we can try. Okay, so we finally have her quest. So next time we go to Mementos, we can finish that off. So we have what? 12 days left? Warning. Oh, question. Right. No, actually, it was the 11th, right? So we have two days left in the month. So we have 13 days left. Oh, God. It's one day more than you thought, Kronos. Why is it that bad? It's not. I was just overreacting a little bit. But when I was a, when I went to buy a present for my grandchild the other day, they had a fan of these costume on sale. It spelled the end of the country if the kids started wanting to become more like the fan of these. You're already in the second year of high school. You should have a clear vision of your future. If you're looking for safety and stability, a silver servant is a good option. Hey, Noah. I bet you all think the civil service is all office work, but the fishermen of Nagaragawa, Jesus Christ, are all actually civil servants as well. So tell me, which sector do they belong to? Clearly the Imperial House Agency. This is it. Very good. Oh, I'm impressed you knew that. Only the Comorant, uh, Comorant, all Comorant fishermen of Nagaragawa are officially used by the Imperial Household. What? <laughs> These fishermen are granted spots on the Imperial Household Agency Board of Ceremonies. That said, you can't break into the industry even if you wanted to since it's a hereditary occupation. Then why bring it up? If you want a government job, try for a spot in the diet, though some may say that's hereditary too. Nice yeah. 
That broke my brain. I'm honestly fed up with politicians these days. Relatable. Is there any way anyone is there anyone who seriously wants to improve this country? <laughs> oh yeah, they said the news uh, said on the news that the cabinet's approval rating went down again. There's the couple complete opposite of us. Our popularity and approval have been going through the roof, so we should run for office. That would take a turn. <laughs> I've met those requests can wait! We only have one! Koto Maruki. Futaba. Shinya. Okay. Well, it's gonna be Maruki, right? Hey, Maruki, it took me a while to actually find you. Welcome. Hey, good work today. How, how do you even know? Thank you for helping me the other day. My paper's coming to an end, and it's all thanks to you. So, you wanna stop by? I won't take too much of your time. Hmm. Yeah, let's go hang out. Thank you. No problem. Now step right in. I got some snacks and drinks. My favorite kind. Snacks and drinks. Thank you. Thanks for coming. You see... There's actually something I want to talk to you about. I know this is a little personal, but... You remember how my former girlfriend came up the other day? Rumi? Uh... Yeah. We were even engaged, if you can believe that. She was so cheerful. I mean, she could get pretty aggressive. She was always kind of a hothead, but always so kind, too. She was the best thing that ever happened to me. I didn't deserve her, but if we hadn't, if we'd had war shot, our life would have been so much happier than it had ever been. But reality is never that simple. A burglar broke into our family's home. Rumi and I had been visiting. We were there to see what he'd done to them. It was just bad luck. But it didn't end there. He must have been desperate to escape. He attacked Rumi on his way out. I was there with her, and I couldn't do anything. Pathetic, right? We were lucky Rumi's injury weren't, so more, weren't more severe, her physical ones at least. But the shock of the incident was too much. She had a mental breakdown. We talked about that, didn't we? Or how wounds of the heart aren't as straightforward as physical ones? She never really recovered from what happened, even after all this time. And I kind of lost myself in that pain for a while. Why? She didn't deserve that. None of them did. None of them did anything wrong. I... Sorry. I'm sorry. When I saw her in the hospital bed, I made a vow. I swore that I'd do all I can to fight back against the unfairness of reality, and if someone suffered like that, I'd help. Uh, like I said before, Rumi's in a better mental place now. She's happy. With that pain I felt back then, that's how this project was born. And thanks to you, I finally found the true goal of my research, too. I don't care how long it takes me, I will make my dream come true. <laughs> for Rumi's sake, of course, but for you too, as, uh, for you as well, Noah. I honestly don't have the words to say what all this means to me, but I can at least say this. Thank you so much for everything. Thanks to you, I found my answer. And once it's ready, I hope you'll be able, I uh, hope you'll let me use it to help you find the happiness you deserve. I already got happiness. My path is clear now. I think I'll be able to be the last, uh, I think this will probably be the last time I come to you with about the paper. Uh. Uh. Okay. Kinda sad. I guess. I don't know how you feel. It meant a lot to me, too. I'll let you know when I finally finish that paper. When I do, I'll have to thank you one last time. Uh, you helped me see my dream through. I owe you so much. No. But for now, I should uphold my end of the deal. I got a really special one for you, too. Uh, I think you'll be, you're will you ready for something on another level. Okay. Detox DX. Where's the chicken? Dope! Right. I like detox. It saved my ass a bunch of times. Also, there's one thing I want to tell you, but I'll save it until I finish my paper. I just hope you can forgive me for it. Okay. Uh, oh, uh, don't mind me. Sorry, that came out and out of out of out, out way too ominous. Yeah. All right. Thank you for the SP. Oh, here, never bad time for a snack. Thank you. Well, see you. Okay. Man, sorry about your girlfriend. Ah, you're back. I feel like you should probably shouldn't have sat there and like let it happen. I you shouldn't. I know. Oh shit! It's a question. It doesn't matter. Which one of these counts as slander? Insulting someone online, divulging someone's crimes. Wait.
neither? Being honest about someone's criminal history is not slander. It's stating a fact. Now, making up a story about someone having, like, a criminal history and then, like, posing it as fact, that's slander. Insulting on someone online isn't either, but making shit up about someone and posting it online is. But I have a feeling you want me to say divulging someone's crime. Yeah. I don't think that's true. You publicly say something that hurts someone's reputation, even if it's true, is slander. I don't think that's actually fact. It's also usually not considered defamination, and even if it was, it'd be libel if they were published online. Nice going. Yeah, I don't think that's true, but okay. Um, yeah, I mean, it's easy to judge, right? In the situation, like you saw someone you care about get attacked and you did nothing. That's kind of messed nice. up, dog. At the same time. The, the human brain and emotions can get the better of anyone, so like it's you can't really judge, right? I mean, I can, and I'm going to, but like realistically, I don't blame it on him, right? If I was in his shoes, I would like to think that I would have done something. So you're ranked nine, but who knows, right? So I guess we're hanging out with Sojuro today. Is there anything I needed else to do? Buy books? No. Oh. Oh, but I can't do that with Sojuro here. I was going to say make coffee. I keep forgetting to do that. Which was really bad because I need those SP healing items. But I guess once we hang out with him, she can do better curry now. And you should be Vors, right? Uh, I'm going to church with Mutaba. Sorry, but you're coming. Uh, you guys are religious? No, we're visiting Wakaba's grave. All right, then. I'm ready in three minutes. Okay, we're doing that at night. I we're doing that at Wakaba night on a weekday? Of her death, but it's been a while since I visited. Wait. No, you only say you think about her on the anniversary of death. You don't actually do anything. I've okay. been so busy with the shop and all. Because I was going to say, didn't her anniversary come, like, a month ago, two months ago at this point, when we uh, did Futaba's Palace? No, no, that's not it. The guilt is what kept me from coming. I thought Wakaba would be angry with me. I mean, she is. But now that I managed to get Futaba over here... I can finally meet her with my head held high. I sure kept her waiting, but it felt good to tell her about how much Futaba's improved lately. I thought we were going to her grave. Oh, I told her about you, too. Max Trump's that. Uh, thank you? Idiot. I should be the one thanking you. I know. This is the first time the four of us are all together. So, Jiro, what are you smirking for? Is she buried in the church? Uh, this is what my real smile looks like. Horrifying, isn't it? I approve. Whew. You guys want to see me do the pose that I did when Yusuke was here? Oh, I have some news. The family court gave me a call the other day. Futaba's uncle decided to retract his report. Good. Still have the shovel in the line. Change of heart things I keep hearing about. <laughs> nah, that couldn't be. <laughs> I wonder if the day will come that she goes out to be someone's bride. I'm sure she'll make a fine lady either way. After all, she is Wakaba's daughter. Do all fathers have to go through this anxiety? I mean, yeah. You know, I really just wanted to have you help out at the store. But you showed me so much more. You showed me I have a family I need to protect. Sorry, I had to show you that. Not just Futaba. But you, too. Oh, you don't need to protect me. I'm rich. And I, I can may stab people. be reliable. But feel free to come to me if anything happens. I'll be there for you, as family. Woo. 
I got two dads now. Uh, I know. I'll teach you everything I can. You're a full-fledged man now. That might not be enough to return the favor, but it's all I can do. What do you mean by that? A full-fledged man now? What? I am thou. Thou art I. Thou hast turned a vow into a blood oath. Woo, blood brothers! Thou hast awakened to the ultimate secret of the Hierophant, granting thee infinite power. That yeah, normally gives me two spirit hearts. That is an old goddamn reference. Uh, allows you to make curry that greatly restores SP to all allies. All right. All Whoa. right. Koryu. Didn't I use that guy in Persona 3 a lot? Oh, and, uh, could you not, uh, you know, get with Futaba? Oh, for you, Sojuro? Absolutely not. I can't imagine you calling me father. That's right. Although, maybe it wouldn't be so bad. I'm gonna call you daddy. <laughs> what are you talking about? Oh, about how we're gonna be dating in the future. Don't worry about it. Nothing. Yeah, yeah. Let's go home. Sure. Okay, so a couple more. Well, a week. Over a week. To the next Morning. story event. Morning! Hey, you keeping up on the comments online? No, I never read those. There's a lot of hate for the Okoma and a lot of expectations for us. Hope Haru's dad has a change of heart soon. Uh, all we can do is wait. You know how this goes. Hey, man. Yeah, you get a point, but I'm positive this will make a bigger impact than before. As usual, uh, I'll be a while before we see some results. But man, I'm so looking forward to this. Oh, is this free time? This looks like free time. Well then, let's get class started. I hope you remember what I we've gone over until now. Well... Um... Miss Huruta, please come to the faculty office at once. What's this? What? Everyone, make sure you study on your own! I don't know why I sound like this now! What do you want to do? I want to read a book. I got no more guts, do I? None of those are guts. Oh, God damn it. Okay. Learn to play darts, I guess. No, 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 no. <sighs> Efficiency, God damn it. Okay, fine. Heroic Revelations. Was that one of the three ones? Mm. I hope so. Yeah. Uh. Apologies. It was nothing in particular. Sorry for the wait. Let's collect ourselves and return to the lesson. Yep. Yeah, that was close. How come we have us get a good chunk of free time, though? She should do it every day. Actually, why don't I just drop out of school? I gotta read all these books with all the free time. Hey. Yo! Kids, clean up after yourselves! What the hell is this? What is this? Oh wait, no, those that's glue and a ruler. I thought that was like nail painting shit. I thought I had someone I could talk to there for a second. Can we, yeah? Oh. Okay. Sure. Who wants to hang out? The form request. Stop talking about the one goddamn request that we have. Hold up. Yo, what the hell, game? No one? I can work on my guts, I guess. Oh, uh, Big Bang Burger? Big Bang Burger. It's Big Bang Burger time. This, this increases guts, yeah? Yeah. 
No, I don't want your moon burger. I want to take the challenge again. Yeah. Because I'm a goddamn glutton. I'm not a millionaire anymore. Oh no. Whatever shall I do? Thank is it go to Mementos much. and get all the items? Yes. Yes, it is. Now then. Yeah, this is like my third time doing this. Watch me eat this. And this small fry! Woo. Please come again. Oh, I will. Give me my guts, please. I knew you could do it. Good god, how much more guts do I should have got a guts boots! God damn it, I should have got a guts boost. Ah, you're back. I am back. In case you would like to stay apprised of the situation, little has changed with my father so far. I appreciate the consideration. I get to truly speak with him, though. As as I've said before, this is just what happened with Madurale. There's no need to worry. Still, I'm sorry. I know you're all waiting to hear about the mental shutdown culprit. Mother's are physically weak, so it may take some time. Let's just be patient. He's right. We don't need to be worried. I mean, in that case, ain't it time to be talking about our next celebration party? Too soon, too stupid. What? We can talk about that some other time. For now, let us wait patiently. Yes, I'll contact everyone if anything comes up. Okay, so we have one message. Do you have any news? I don't know, the fact that I've ignored you constantly should be news to you! Did I get the stuff yet from the shady commodity? Oh, the order's on the way, okay. Let's say I should spend more money there. All right, so we're done with Shoujiro. So clearly, we're gonna have Kawakami make us some curry. What do you want to do? Yeah. Yep. Make sure you close up. Oh yeah, I'm Bye. cooking dinner. I'm not calling my girlfriend to do it at all. No. Then who are we gonna hang out with today? Mashima. I mean, I guess the dude is higher ranked than Oya. Oh, yeah. Mishima, where are you, dog? You're normally- you're close to the top, aren't you? No, you're not. You're close to the bottom. Uh, you're ranked 7. So I guess I should hang out with you, huh? Right, because you get three more to go until you're maxed out. Alright, that is going to be it for this episode. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the episode, press like below. If you're not subscribed yet, why don't you have my videos so you can check out some of the content, see if it's to your liking. Once again, thank you for watching. Hope you all have a great day.